Hey guys, I have here a video showing you how to use a controller with the PC version of Oblivion. First step we're going to want to take is go to the Documents folder, and then go to My Games, and then double click the Oblivion folder, and you'll see here the Oblivion configuration setting. Just double click that. I'm going to expand this, and once you're in the Oblivion configuration setting, you're going to want to scroll down and you'll see here it says in brackets controls and under that you'll see this setting called B use joystick it has a value of 1 just go ahead and give it a value of 0 disabling the in-game controller support and hit control S to save it and then exit out and you can exit out of this as well now we're going to want to go ahead and get a program called Joytiki so to do that just open up your browser and go to download.com as I am here right now and in the find software tab just type in joy oops joy to key one word and hit enter and you should only have one result which will be joy to key right here do not click the download now because you will get a terrible installer just click joy to key and then click direct download link that way you just get the file and I'm going to save mine to my desktop and you can exit out of your browser after this and now I have the George key zip file here and I'm just going to extract it and I'll drag that down and now you want to make sure that you have your controller on it is not entirely necessary though I do recommend it it makes it a little easier to program it so just double click the joy to key folder and then double click the Jordiki application and it'll say thank you very much for trying Jordiki just click OK and I'm going to expand this kind of make this a little larger and now I should sort of explain what Jordiki is and all it is is basically a keyboard emulator so if I wanted to correspond the spacebar to the A button on the Xbox controller I could go ahead and tell it to do so by clicking button 1 which is the A button and I find that out by hitting A on the joystick and it highlights it so I just click button 1 and I hit the space bar and then I hit OK and now every time I click the A button on the controller it hits space bar like I said um, you can press the button on the controller to figure out which key is which you can also go to the top here and click bulk assignment wizard so left on stick 1 which is the left analog stick on the Xbox controller you just hit A and then obviously for the right you hit D up down and W S and that's basically the bulk assignment wizard though it will not program buttons like the middle click for the mouse or the mouse movement and when you're done you just click finish for oblivion and also for Xbox 360 controller users it helps to go to the options and for any controller you want to click configure 8-way point of view which is on the d-pad and if you have an Xbox controller you want to click the down tab under show hide buttons and click show all axes if you have an Xbox controller you're going to want to turn the threshold for input on the analog sticks up stick 1 I like to put at 75 percent whereas stick 2 I keep at about 25 and now I click the joystick 1 tab and I am ready to program all my buttons for Oblivion. So I am done programming all my buttons for Oblivion and as you can see here I have created two configuration settings. One is Oblivion Basic which is verbatim the Xbox 360 controls. But because we are using a controller for the PC version of Oblivion it sort of doesn't always work as well as you like it. And because of that, I created the Oblivion Custom. So as you can see, it uh, uses Joystick 2's configuration. So that when I hold the left bumper, which is button 5 of course, I can use the Joystick 2 buttons. And as you can see here, when I'm holding the left bumper, the right analog stick will move the mouse wheel up and down so that I can adjust how far the camera is from me in third person. And buttons 1 through 4 here are F1 through F4, which 
is a shortcut to the journal and the inventory and the map and so on. And of course I had to replace the button that used to be left bumper and to do that I've used the left click so that when I'm holding left bumper and I click the left analog stick it will grab an item and when I am done Joyda key I just click this tab over here and then I right click the Joyda key icon and click terminate Joyda key and then I'm going to X out of here and I'm all set keep in mind that you have to have Joyda key open while playing the game and that is actually it so thank you for watching